Hey Christian, it's Tristan with Big Picture SEO and uh, we spoke on the phone a little bit earlier today and I told you I'd shoot you over this video showing you a couple ways you can increase your online presence um, and this is a video and um, I don't want to take up a lot of your time with this so I'm just going to get straight into it. Now obviously you don't have a DNS fixed uh, to any certain website that you have built out, at least it's what it's saying here, maybe you do. Uh, maybe this is the first time you've seen this, but it, at the very least, um, it's not up and running. There's no DNS attached to the website that you have this published to. Um, so I'm just going to show you your guys' information anyway, even though it's obvious that uh, none of this would be, uh, you know, doing anything at all. So I'll explain what all of this means, but we're just going to stick with traffic and keywords for now. Uh, so traffic is the amount of people that come onto your website, and that's zero. And keywords are the words and phrases that Google deems are common search terms, and you want to be ranking for, and that's zero. Um, a referring domain is a website that points to you, and a backlink is a link within that website uh, that points back to you. So, for example, the backlink, if I could click this and it would take me back to your website, uh, that would be a backlink. And then again, the referring domain is just the website that has it. So, we can, I'll clear this up real quick. So, you got a blogspot.com, a blogspot.com, and a blogspot.com. And so, your backlinks would be those blogspot.coms uh, referring back to you. So. Yeah, I hear this one, and this one, and this one. Uh, but I'll show you your number one organic competitor since there isn't really anything to show you for years. Um, so these people, Landscaping, El Paso, um, I'm pretty sure that's just their business name as well. If we go you know, to Google, type in Landscaping El Paso, they're the very first website to pop up. Um, yeah, LandscapingElPaso.com. So if we go back here, they get 1,400 people a month on their website, and they're ranking with 300 keywords. So I'll go in and I'll show you, you know, why having keywords matters and how they get their traffic that way. So landscaping El Paso, that's being searched 1,300 times a month, which is, this is rare to find an over 1,000 searched uh, keyword with a lower than 15 KD. And they get 368 people a month on their website from that, from being in the second. They're in the first now. Uh, I believe it was the first. Yeah, they're in the first now, so it just hasn't updated 11 hours ago. just hasn't updated it today. Uh, positioning can move day to day, week to week, hour to hour. Um, sprinkler repair or sprinkler system repair near me. So this is fine. Uh, it has 6,600 searches. They're getting one, almost 200 people a month from that. But you usually want to stay location oriented and buyer intent. Um, since this is one that they have working for them, I totally throw that in there when you're, you know, rebuilding your guys' website, trying to add some content. I definitely throw it in there since it's working for them. They're getting almost 200 people. Uh, but we don't know exactly if all, you know, 200 of these people even are uh, from El Paso or even from Texas. Like this could be a globally searched keyword. It could be a, con a national nationally searched keyword. And it could even be a continentally searched keyword. You know what I mean? So um, this isn't a total, you know, these people are in El Paso. They're looking for a sprinkler repair system near me, uh, near me as in you. But these are people, just people in general looking this up. So El Paso landscape, this is, you know, you know, people are in El Paso looking for landscaping. That's 250. El Paso landscaping, 500. El pa or landscaping El Paso, El Paso, Texas. That's 150. Front yard, 100. Tree removal, that's 300 with a low KD. Landscape El Paso, that's 90 with a little bit higher of a KD. Um, we could keep going, but it would take a really long time. Um, and so... After, you know, after you, you've obviously seen that, you know, keywords are important. That's where you're getting your traffic from. So after you have implemented the, the content within your website, you're going to want to go after backlinks. Uh, that way you're able to bring power to your website. And first and foremost, the most important thing with backlinks is that they're not created equal. So I'm not saying after this video, get on Google, look up, you know, backlink supplier or something like that, and then purchase 2,000 random backlinks. Uh, because odds are those aren't relevant enough to actually bring you any power. Um, so it's about quality and not quantity. Like I said, you can buy 2,000, but it's not going to work. Because, for example, say one of them is in there from like Pizza Hut or something, and uh, whenever Google indexes your site and they see you have a pizza place linking to your landscaping company, unless uh, within the content it says how you like mulch their property or did whatever, then they're going to deem that irrelevant and spam, and they're not going to let you rank. Um, Google's algorithm is built out to completely deter spam and bot like sites so you need to prevent yourself from looking like either of those all the time no matter what uh, and i actually have the number two guy here so landscaping el paso texas just to show you real quick landscaping el paso texas um so they're getting 781 people a month on their website with 317 keywords and they actually have way less backlinks so these guys would be even it would be even easier to take these guys as spots 
uh, than the first place is spot. But um, here we go. So El Paso landscaping, you know, they're getting 174 from that out of that 500. Landscaping El Paso, like I said, this had 1.3K. Uh, they're getting 119 people from that. El Paso backyard landscaping, 250. Another 250, 200, 150, 300. So, I mean, there's thousands of search you're missing out here, man. Uh, simply because, you know, you don't even have a website that's uh, up and running right now. And then you don't have, if you did, you wouldn't have one that is actually, um, you know, ranking with keywords or even being found for any keywords. Uh, so it's definitely something you're going to need to work on. Um, real quick, just to go over what we've said, you're, if this is something you're interested in, you need to build yourself out a website. Uh, you know, fill it with high quality, relevant content. You can't just have random, you know, paragraphs in there about random things that don't apply and then try and stick landscape and El Paso in there. Um, and then you need to go out and you need to get yourself authoritative backlinks. Don't spam. Uh, don't get, you know, irrelevant ones. Just get high authoritative and uh, similar ones to what your competition has. And then, you know, we can go through. I'll show you actually what these guys have. We'll go through it a little bit. Obviously not the whole thing. That would take a ridiculous amount of time. Um, but so they got mashplandscaping.com. It's a blog here. Uh, cooperative deal banshees, expertise, house method, a live directory. Help me find mashp again. And I'm guessing this is more of like a, uh, an, a link circle, which is when, you know, if it could just be a uh, one person is doing SEO work for multiple websites or, you know, multiple SEO companies. They know each other. So they have each other's uh, links within their website. That would make yeah. So this is a landscaping company in Mashpee, Massachusetts. So that's exactly what this is. It's a group of people who you know are throwing each other's uh, websites that they work on or they own into each other's into the other person's website to you know draw that backlink profile power and and give them some more credibility and, and power in Google's eyes. Uh, we got expertise, a blog here, and blogs are really good uh, because not only does it show Google that you're willing to you know um, give out valuable information onto the internet for free without asking for anything in return other than a link but it shows that you're also a real person who can give out real informative information that actually is applicable to real life um so it's a win-win all around especially if it has a good dr which this one does usually you'll see like a zero it's like a 10 but this is a really good blog uh blog page right here got lifeboat learn language and that's pretty much all i'm going to go through we've already been through some uh, i kind of gave you an idea there with the link circle the, the blog spot and then another is guest posting, which is when a website allows you to put your link on there with, you know, sometimes with some with a paragraph or something or a picture in exchange for like five to twenty dollars. It can go all the way up to like two hundred. Uh, it just depends on how authoritative the link is and what you're going after. So, yeah, again, we'll go through these people's real quick. We'll just scroll through it really fast just to see what they have, uh, since, you know, the second place is obviously going to be easier. So Kev's best domains. This is a guest post. I'll learn a language, tree care tips, move zoo, a blog there, landscapes, move zoo, move zoo, uh, Z business finder, Anthony Scott direct me, not sure what that is, blog spot, uh, gorilla garter, gardening, scarecrow critics, move zoo, move zoo, move zoo, B2BCO, uh, some of fashion ways, house, houses, house sumo, uh, move zoo again, best friends blog, and that's about it. I don't want to again take up a lot of time with this boring stuff. I mean, the last thing I'm going to want to talk to you about is citations, and they have a lot to do with the map pack listing. So a citation is just the business's name and address and phone number, and you list those inside of, inside of directories, and a directory is just a website that allows you to do so. So things like Yellow Pages, Three Best Rated, uh, Kev's Best, Home Advisor, Angie's, Contractors Up, there's literally hundreds and hundreds of them out there. Uh, the more that you put yourself in, the better, and then the more relevant they are to your industry, the even better. Again, because credibility is a big thing in Google's eyes and relevance. Excuse me, sorry. Um, but that's something you want to focus on. The more citations that you list, the higher you're going to start ranking through the map pack. And it's really important because when people are looking up landscaping El Paso on their phones, um, instead of a website button, it's a click to call button. Uh, so, you know, obviously being in these three positions, as soon as somebody looks that up, uh, you'll be one of the first business names that they see, regardless of being ranked up here. Um, so, yeah, I hope that this was helpful for you. Uh, if you are interested in this, feel free to reach back out to me. My number is 812-827-3138. Thank you for your time and have a good rest of your day.